Last, really last, but not least, that wonderful organization from coast to coast which holds our torch aloft in the colleges and universities, the Students for America, Mr. George Reisman. Roy Cohn, you are here tonight as a great American who went to Washington to fight for his country. And to the great shame of all Americans, you were pilloried and smeared in as vile an exhibition as this country has ever seen. But if this be any comfort, your martyrdom is a demonstration to all of us of the controlling influence the communists and their allies still wield in American politics. There has been only one thing wrong with the famous methods of you or of that other great American, Senator Joe McCarthy. <laughs> you have been too kind, too courteous, too considerate. to realize the full extent of the viciousness and venom of the left smearbund that is dedicated to drive every effective anti-communist from public life. The communists and their New Dealer cousins may have their family quarrels at times, but essentially they have been united, united for 21 years in a popular front regime of the left. As the Chicago Tribune actually put it, the case of Roy Cohn is the American Dreyfus case. As Dreyfus was redeemed, so shall Roy Cohn be when the American people have backed their government from the criminal alliance of communist, socialist, New Dealers, and Eisenhower, Dewey, Republicans. <laughs> There was more, but I thought I'd better shorten it. <laughs> and now on behalf of the Eastern Regional Headquarters of Students for America, I'd like to present Mr. Cohn with a set of resolutions we adopted at our last meeting. appreciate this because he's used to running and even instigating runaway grand juries. <laughs> and was it not truly said, out of the mouths of babes. <laughs> George, I'll see you later. <laughs> You're not really a babe. <laughs> 